Hello and welcome. This is Jasur from Shanghai Silk Road and also JRN Firm, a corporate consultancy company based in Shanghai. And we also have branches in the US and Central Asian country Uzbekistan. We assist foreign companies, entrepreneurs to enter the Chinese market, also uh, Hong Kong and many other countries. You can check out our services on our website here and feel free to contact us. Now, in this video, I'd like to talk about another frequently asked question, which is visiting the bank in order to open an account in China. Now, this question says that uh, I spoke to an agent again in China. Uh, they say that once I create the company from distance, you can do that. I don't have to go to China to open a bank account. I can do it remotely as well, they say. So my response to this is be extremely careful. Uh, it's certainly, it's very clear that this agency is lying to you. In China, in 2023, now September, none of the banks have changed their policy uh, in terms of personal visit to the bank. Still, 100% of the banks require personal visit in China. Once you register your company, they require you to come to China in person with your company documents and with your passport. And also on top of that, recently they started asking the company supervisor visit the bank as well. Because what they require is both the company supervisor and the company director to have personal account in the same bank before they can open corporate bank account. That's the situation. We deal with this kind of uh, situations almost every day. We assist our clients to open their corporate bank accounts and personal accounts because the personal account is required, like I said. So this question, again, it's 100% a lie. Okay. There are so many agencies um, in China and many other countries, like when you, are, when you want to register a company, uh, enter that market, there are so many, so many agencies who want to take advantage of potential you know, clients, obviously. Because what, what can you do, actually? You wire them the payment, and if they disappear, there's not much you can do. So that's, you know, very elementary thing, actually self-explanatory. You need to be extremely careful. And number two is, you need to check, actually. You need to check what they're claiming is true or not. Very simple way to check is, pick the phone, call the bank. Simple as that. Why do you have to speculate? Why do you have to think that, oh, well, this agency is claiming? And most of the time, actually, I have this ridiculous comment from, you know, some viewers, not all, uh, on YouTube saying that, well, you are a foreigner. And maybe you don't know uh, the exact situation, or maybe you are not connected enough, quote, quote unquote. And uh, this local agency, they say that uh, I don't have to visit the bank, so maybe I will trust them. Yes, by all means, if you trust, go ahead. But my simple you know, recommendation to you is you don't have to sign up with us. Uh, you can just check with the bank. All these you know, uh, major banks in China, on their website, there's a contact number. Why don't you call them and ask them, do I have to visit in person in order to open a corporate bank account? And you will see the response. Almost all the banks, they have English speaking uh, people, staff, and uh, they will be able to explain to you the whole process. The way it works is you register the company, you have all the company documents and make an appointment with the bank. and actually appear in person on that appointment day as a company director and on top of that actually i mentioned already if the company director is separate from the company shareholder you will have to bring the legalized passports passport copies of the company shareholders as well if it's a corporate shareholder obviously you need to bring legalized uh, corporate documents of the corporate shareholder uh, these are the set of documents. And, like I mentioned again, the company supervisor uh, will have to visit in person as well. 
because both of the director and supervisor, both of them, they need to open personal bank account before they can open corporate bank account in the same bank. And the same information will be confirmed by any bank in China. There are, however, some banks which open non-resident accounts. Non-resident accounts, basically, in other words, these are offshore accounts. That's a new concept in China. Actually, it's been a few years now, uh, especially since the pandemic. Chinese banks started offering non-resident corporate accounts, which is available only for foreign companies, not Chinese companies. If you are a Dubai company, US company, etc., different jurisdiction outside of China, foreign companies now can open non-resident accounts. And non-resident accounts sometimes do not require personal visit. So you can use your, for example, Indian company and uh, try to open non-resident account in China for your foreign company. Some banks, again, if I count by finger, maybe there are not more than two banks, which offer complete remote uh, service. But however, again, this remote service will require you to have one resident representative in China and also office in China for your foreign company. Your representative should be a resident in China with visa and everything. And they need to be able to bring on the, on the appointment date, they need to be able to bring your original passport. That means that you need to mail your original passport by DHL, FedEx, etc. to your representative. And they need to go there uh, on the appointment date to the bank and bring uh, the documents of the company, your original passport, their original passport, and uh, the proof of your office in China. So as you can see, it's even they offer all this, you know, two banks that I mentioned, even they offer remote service. It's not completely remote. It's not completely like, you know, uh, you do it like uh, in, in some of the Western countries, you completely do from uh, their website. It doesn't work like that. Still, they require a visit, but that can be your representative in China, resident representative. Resident means that with the right to, uh, to, to live in China. So that is the situation, guys, with the banks. If anybody claims that you can open a corporate bank account or personal account in China remotely without any problems for your China company, then they are either lying or maybe, you know, <laughs> second scenario is they want to take advantage of you. Because I've seen, again, there are some really like funny and ridiculous situations where uh, an agency doesn't tell the client the whole scenario, whole situation. What they might do is they might open the account on their name and put you as a signatory as well with your legalized um, you know documents because i've seen those kind of situations i've seen uh, them happening here in china what they don't tell you is they will be the main signatory themselves and uh, they open the bank account they visit the bank in person and they also show your company's legalized documents which you send them uh, from your home country and in this situation actually on the online banking you don't see all the signatories there and it's hidden kind of you know it's 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 hidden from you you cannot see all that information but what you can do you might risk actually the whole financial situation of your company because that person who opened for you the bank account might have full access to your company's bank accounts so again um, be very careful guys uh, there are so many scammers, so many like uh, dodgy companies, agencies in many countries, let alone China. Uh, my recommendation is work with uh, companies which are offering legal services, like completely transparent. Uh, I'm not trying to say that, you know, we are the best and transparent here. But of course, we are one of them, one of the transparent, one of the, uh, you know, uh, 
companies which uh, has been offering uh, these services for, for many, many years. Uh, when you come to us, actually, we tell you uh, what's the realistic situation here. And sometimes when it comes to the time frame as well, we're not going to promise something that we cannot do. And uh, definitely when it's related to the bank account, we will not take responsibility or we say that, yeah, 100% it's guaranteed. You can watch our videos. Actually, I keep repeating, bank account is in the hands of the bank. Visa is in the hands of the immigration. Nobody, nobody is in the position to guarantee these two things. Why? Because bank has its own due diligence. Visa, immigration as well, they do due diligence on the applicant. And uh, we are certainly not in a position to, to guarantee you a visa or bank account because we've seen some uh, we had uh, clients from developed countries actually and unfortunately their bank account uh, application was refused and the applicant didn't know about that like they didn't know that their name had some issues bank run some due diligence background check and they found that this person's name is related to money laundering and they're not aware of maybe they withheld that information from us they didn't tell us but at the end of the day the their application was refused and we asked for the reason from the bank and they said well this person's name you know appeared in the money laundering database that might be the case guys so um, yeah uh, with that i'm going to finish this video once again uh, we provide corporate uh, services related to company structuring, opening bank accounts, resident, non-resident bank accounts. And for our clients actually who signed up for, for, for these services, we assist with personal bank account as well. But of course, it depends on your country of citizenship uh, because banks do not accept all the citizens around the world. Unfortunately, there are some countries, uh, citizens of which cannot open bank account in China. And except for bank account, we also have, you know, uh, special license services, agreement drafting, uh, and anything related to running your company. Feel free to get in touch with us. I'll be glad to uh, hear from you. Thank you and see you in the next one.